Praise be to the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet each and every one that has gathered here as well as those that are able to tune into the broadcast in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. With the abundant grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have come to the end of yet another week of yet another month in this year that the Lord has so graciously have added into our lives. With these few words, I would like to draw your attention to the Word of God. Please stand with me to honor the reading of God's Word if you are physically able. I would like to begin by reading three different portions of scriptures. The first passage is taken from the book of Exodus chapter number 3, verse number 11 and verse number 12. And then we'll go to the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter number 12 and read verse number 9. Then the final passage of our reading at this time would be from the book of Hebrews chapter number 11 from verse 32 to verse 34. 34. Exodus chapter number 3, verse number 11 and 12, it says, and it reads like this, And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou has brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Yatrahma Mundu Padanundu Paniranda Masanagal. Upper the Mose Devan in Nuki, Parvonad at the Kapohovum, Israel Putra, Yaptal in the Alaita Barabum, Nan Yematram Yentan, other Kava, Nan Unode Yirpain, Ni Janata Yaptal in the Alaita Bandapin, Ningle in the Mali and Devanak Aradan is Savior. Second Corinthians chapter number 12 and verse number 9, it says and it reads like this, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Other cover in Kurubai Vunakapodum, Balavinatale and Balan Puranama Vulangum Yendar, Ahiyal, Christavin Valame, Yen Mail Tangamadi, Yen Balavinangle Kuriti, Nan Migabum Sando Shama, Main May Paratuin. Hebrews chapter number 11, beginning from verse 32 to verse number 34, it says, and it reads like this And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed <coughs> valiant in fight turn to flight the armies of the aliens. Ebreer Kalina Nirbum, Padanura of the Dikaram, Upatrandil in the Mupati Nangu. Pinum Nan in a Soluvain, Gideon, Barak, Simpson, Yepta, David, Samuel, and Babrilium, Tirkadar Sigilim Kuritin, and Viveran Chola Vindamana, Kalam Podade, Visuvasatanale, our girl Rajing Lay Jay Targal, Nidia Nadapitargal. Walk at the Tangle Petargal, 
சிங்கங்களின் வாய்களை அடைத்தார்கள் அக்னியின் உக்கிரத்தை அவித்தார்கள் பட்டைய கருக்குக்கு தப்பினார்கள் பலவீனத்தில் பலன் கொண்டார்கள் யுத்தத்தில் வல்லவர்களானார்கள் அந்நியருடைய சேனைகளை முறியடித்தார்கள் May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word. பாஸ்கி கேட்ட அந்த வேத பகுதியை தேவன் தாமே நமக்கு ஆசீர்வாதத்து கொடுப்பார். Let us pray. நாம் செபி. Most gracious and loving heavenly Father. மிகுந்த கிருபையும் அன்பும் நிறைந்த பரலோகத்தின் தகப்பனே. The only exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ we come approaching thee to the throne of thy grace. உயர்த்தப்பட்ட ஒரே நாமமாக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் நாமத்தினாலே Mere kirvasana thanne nangal nerungi vandirukkrom Thank you Lord for shedding your blood on the cross of Calvary which has made it possible for us to gather around your table this evening Andure inda maale vele inde meja inde varakudiya thagudhiye andha kalvari suluvile ni sindana da vele era petra rathathin madipinaale ni engalukku koduthadukkai nanri selathukiren I pray that you will come on to the scene and take your position in this table to commune with the hearts of your people Andure inda maale vele le nire vandu inda meja na jamana nai andavare ni We acknowledge that you are the master of this table. The major jamana nir and bade nangalangi erikkum. I pray that you will send your ministering spirits to minister to the hearts of your people. Andavare inda velile nir thaamiyum de janathodu kuda idapada koodiyum raave nir anipi thandu nir varuvenumai chevikkum. Lord I stand here as a weak vessel. Andavare oru melavina paathramai naan inda eduthile nirkiren. But I lift my cup this evening. Inda velile enude paathrathai mude samuthre naan veerthi pidikkum. So that you can fill it and flow through me this evening help me move my own self out of the way so that you will able to manifest to your people this evening through your word let there be a spirit of revelation and understanding in this place bind all the power of darkness in the name of the lord jesus christ may the liberty of your spirit be with us won't you please lead us and guide us in the way of lasting nadathum vali nadathum may the eternal purpose of you sending your word be fulfilled in each and every one of our lives andure nirumde vaarthe anupagaradana nithyamana nokkum engal ovvoru orude vaalkeyilum nerivetrapadattu declare that all the glory honor power and praise it belongs to you and you alone sagale thudi gana magime menmelaamu korvarikke undagattu for we ask all of these wonderful blessings in the precious name of the lord jesus christ aasiru vaadangalil meleer petramde naama vaagiye yesu christuvin naamathinaale kekkiren amen please be seated jai sri In our series fighting with the unseen forces. காண கூடாத சக்திகளோடு போராட்டம் என்கிற தலைப்பிலே நம்முடைய தொடர்போதனின் தலைப்பிலே. In the last week we talked about the battle of our soul which is the mother of all the battles. கடந்த வாரம் நாம் தியானித்தது நம்முடைய ஆத்மாவிலே ஏற்படுகிற போராட்டம் எல்லா போராட்டத்துக்கும் தலையாய ஒன்று. It is the greatest battle. அது ஒரு பெரிதான ஒரு போராட்டம். It is greater than any battle that any king or an emperor has fought in this earth in the bhoomi ile endha oru rajavum endha oru samrajyathin rajavum porada koodiya poratathai kattilum melanadhu it's greater than any battle that alexander the great has fought in the ulagathile poradina alexander maga alexander seidha poratathai kattilum melanadhu because it is the battle of the soul the battle that happens in the hidden realm of our lives yenendal adu aathmavile nadaipetra oru poratam marivana pagudhiyaga அந்த இடத்துல நடைபெற்ற That's the greatest of all the battles. அதான் எல்லா போராட்டங்களிலும் மிக பெரிதான Because if we can win the battle on the hidden on the inside அந்த உள்ளே காணப்படுகிற அந்தரங்க பகுதியிலே நடைபெறுகிற அந்த போராட்டம் ஆனது If we win that battle அந்த போராட்டத்திலே நாம் ஜெயம் பெற்றோமானால் We will able to easily see the battle being won in the scene in the natural kaana koodiya vidathile yerkeyile nadaiperugira ella porattathilum nam jayathe kaana mudiyum so in that we saw five different senses that god has given for our soul nammude aathmavukku devan koduthirukkira ainthu vidamana unarvu thiranugalai nam paathom the first sense of our soul is our imaginations nammude mudalavathu andha unarvu thiran nammude karpanaigal the second sense of our soul is our consciousness irandavathu andha unarvu vitran manasaatchi the third consciousness of our soul is memory moondavathu and the nyabagathirangal 
the fourth sense of our soul is mental reasoning and the fifth sense of our soul is affection so as we watch the five senses of our physical body it is very important for a believer to be aware of this five senses of his soul just like the devil uses the five senses of the body he also makes desperate attempt to invade and to manipulate this five senses in our soul any time you want to see the word of god manifest in your lives you need to check these five things each and every day of your lives many times we struggle to inherit the promises of god many times we struggle to obey to what god says it's because the devil has manipulated any one or more of these five senses of our soul but if we can keep these five senses uh, in check when we are aware of these senses of our soul when we keep that five senses in check all the time there is no devil in hell that will be able to stop the word of god manifest in our lives you know i've been listening to brother branham's messages for many years whenever he talks about you know god's promises whenever he would talk about obeying to the word of god he would use a phrase that is uh, you know rested deeply in my heart he would say if you would have the right mental attitude no devil will be able to stop it nee oru sariyana manalilile vandu andarude vaarthaikai kaathirundhayana endha oru pisasaanavanum devunude vaarthai unnude vaalkaiyila maatra mudiyathu he says all of god's word is yes and amen endal devunude vaakuthathangalam aamendum aamen endum irukkum all the promises of god are yes and amen vaakuthathangal ellam avarkkul aamendum aamen endum it has already been declared adu yerkanave arivikkapatta our victory our healing our everything has already been declared nammude jayam nammude vidudhalai ellame arivikkapatta but why many people are struggling to see that word or see that promise manifest in their lives என்ன <laughs> 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 praise the name of the living god you know god's word always rests in our spirit god's spirit communes with our spirit he lays out his word in our hearts he plants the seed of his word in the ground of our hearts and that's our spirit man but from that spirit our soul has to receive the word of god devunudaiya aarthiye yetrukolla nilayil 
ഇല്ലേ ആത്മാ കാണപ്പെടുന്നു ദസ് വാണ്ട് പോസ് ജെയിംസ് റൈറ്റ് റൈറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ഹിസ് എപിസ്റ്റിൽ ആത്മാ അപ്പോസ്തലനായ യാക്കോബ് തന്റെ പൊതുവാന നിർവത്തിലേ ഹി സേസ് റിസീവ് വിത്ത് മീക്നസ് the engrafted word ungal ullathile naattapattadanu ungal aathmaakale rakshikka valamillada irukkira vasanathai saathamaa yetrukollunga thappu thirupi aasinga ungal ullathile naattapattadanu ungal ullathile appa enga naattapattirukku vasanam vasanam bible la illa illa engiyo illa bible la irukka vasanatha thammudi aavinaala devan enna pannirukkara nammudiya ullathil nammudiya aavi manidanil naatti irukkar praise the name of the living god God has taken his word and engrafted his word in our spirit. Devan thammudaiya vaathai eduthu nammudaiya aaviyile avar naattapettu. Praise the name of the living God. And apostle James writes and he says, Jacob adu eli therivikkara. You have to receive the word that has already been engrafted in your spirit. Ungal ullave ungal ullathile naattapatta andha vaathai andha vasanathai ningal saanthamaa yetrukkunga. Where you have to receive? Ningal enge adu yetrukolla vendum? From your spirit you have to receive to your soul. Ungal aaviyile irundhu ungal aathmaavukku ningal adu yetrukkunga. Because it only then our souls will be saved appozhudhu maatrame nammudi aathma rakshikkapadu like our spirit has been saved eppadi nammudi aavi rakshikkapattadu even our souls have to be saved nammudi aathmaavum rakshikkapadu and our souls cannot be saved unless we receive the word in our spirit into our soul by the spirit of meekness aavile nam devunde vaathai yetrukollamal nammudi aathmaavanadhu rakshikkapaduvad endru saathi aavil yetrukollapatta adhe vaarthai edhilum nam yetrukolla vendum aathmaavilum yetrukolla vendum appozhudhu dhaan aathma enna padum rakshikkapadum praise the name of the living god like man was created as body soul and spirit epdi manidan aavi aathma sharirathode srishtikapattu uruvaagum jesus redeemed also the spirit soul and body yesu christ and the moon aavi aathma sharirathai vermitt eduthirukkar praise the name of the living god all the believers who have believed in christ jesus and his work on the cross of calvary christ yesuvum avar siluvaiyile seitha kriyagalai viswasikkiravargal evarum and have made a covenant with him avarodu udanmedikka seitha evarum they are already saved in their spirit வேதங்கள் ஆவிலே ரட்சிக்கப்பட்டார் that is called being born of the spirit according to the scriptures வேத வசனத்தின்படி நாம் ஆவிலே பிறக்கிறவர் that's what apostle paul writes and he says by grace you are saved through faith அதனால தான் அப்போஸ்தலாகிய பவுல் எழுகிறார் கிருபையினாலே விசுவாசத்தை கொண்டு நாம் ரட்சிக்கப்பட்டோம் it's in the past அது கடந்த கால காரியம் the spirit has already been saved ஆவி ஏற்கனவே ரட்சிக்கப்பட்டார் it's been redeemed அது மீட்கப்பட்டாய் but here apostle james writes and he says அப்போஸ்தலாகிய யாக்கோபு எழுதி தெரிவிக்கிற in that spirit god has planted his word and you receive that engrafted word into your soul and then only your souls will be redeemed but these five senses the devil is trying to manipulate in our lives so that the word in our spirit is not not received in our soul but the word of god can manifest in our lives only through our soul many times we say we know the word i have understood the word i have the revelation of the word but it's very important that revelation that knowledge it must manifest in our lives கொண்ட அந்த வெளிப்பாடும் அறிவும் நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கை மூலம் வெளிப்பட வேண்டும் and that cannot happen unless and until we receive that engrafted word in our spirit into our soul with the spirit of meekness ஆத்துமாவில் ஏற்கனவே நாட்டப்பட்டிருக்கிற அந்த வசனம் நம்முடைய ஆவிலே ஆவிலே நாட்டப்பட்டிருக்கிற அந்த வசனம் ஆத்துமாவில் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளப்படும்போது மாத்திரமே அந்த வார்த்தைகள் நம் வாழ்க்கையின் மூலமாய் வெளிப்படுகிறது then the scripture says in the book of james யாக்கோபிலே தொடர்ந்து அந்த வசனம் don't just be the hearers of the word but be the doers of the word நீங்கள் அந்த திருவசனத்தை கேட்கிறவளாய் மாத்திரமல்ல அதன்படி செய்கிறீர்கள் when can we do the word எப்பொழுது நாம் வார்த்தையின்படி only when we 
receive the engrafted word that is in the spirit into our soul with the spirit of meekness aavile naattapatta vaarthai aathmaavile yetrukollum bodhu maatrame idu seiyiyalum so as a believer we need to always be careful about the five senses of our soul enave viswasigalaagiya naam naam aavikku and aathmaavudeya unarvu tharangalai kurithu eppozhudhu as we watch the five senses of our body eppadi sarirathin unarvu tharangalai kurithu naam jaakrathai to see the right things to hear the right things to taste the right things to smell the right things to feel the right things we also have to be aware about the senses that god has put in our soul we have to watch our imaginations is our are our imaginations right according to what god says consciousness is it right according to what god says the memories of our life is it right according to what god says our mental reasoning is it right according to what god says the affections and the passions of our life is it right according to what god says so if any one of these things if your imagination is against what god says if your consciousness is against what god says if your memory is against what god says if your mental reasoning is against what god says if your affections is against what god says what do we need to do we simply should not listen to it yes imagination will come sometimes some consciousness will be against the word of god some memories that come into our mind will be against what god says some of the reasonings and some of the passions and the affections that we have might be against what god says it might come but you should not entertain it praise the name of the living god you must stop listening to it adu ookuvikka koodadhu adu nirutha vendum adai ookuvikka koodadhu you must stop entertaining it see so such kind of thoughts when it comes we should not entertain it avidamana karyangal varumbodhu adukku nam porukol adukku porupadathu hook vikka koodadhu we must cast it out adai nam meliye irundu poda vendum praise the name of the living god you know you cannot avoid a bird flying over your head right ungal thalaikku melai oru paravai parakkaradhe ningal thadukka mudiyadhu but you can stop it building a nest on your head ஆனா உங்க தலையில அத கூடு கட்டறத நீங்க நிறுத்தலாம் so some of the imaginations and reasonings and affections and consciousness and memories are like that உங்களுடைய ஆத்மாவிலே உண்டாகிற அந்த உணர்வு திறன்கள் எல்லாம் அப்படி போன்றதுதான் some affection imaginations might come contrary to the word same way consciousness memory mental reasoning affections yes it might cross through your mind but you should not allow that to build a nest in your mind but if you allow the word of god will never be fulfilled in our lives we will never be able to obey to what god says we will never be able to inherit the promises of god that's why in roman said apostle clearly talks about the mind of the spirit and the mind of the flesh see our soul has a as two directions to incline itself nammudaiya aathma rendu vidha nilaigulile saindhu pogakoodiya thanmayude it can incline to what the flesh says modalla oru pakkam maamsam enna solluvaru or it can incline to what the spirit says illa aavi enna solluvaru adarkum saayum praise the name of the living god but if god's word have to control our life devudaiya vaarthai nammudaiya vaalkai kattupadu if god's word has to lead our life devudaiya vaarthai namme nadathu if god's word has to manifest in our life devudaiya vaarthai nam vaalkai lende velipadu 
we always must incline to the mind of the spirit and the avin sindai pakkathile nam saivom even in ephesians 4:23 the scripture says apostle paul writes and he says by the inspiration of the spirit he says be renewed in the spirit of your mind உங்கள் உள்ளத்திலே புதிதான வெளிப்படும் If God's strength has to be revealed in your life there must be weakness in your life ungalde vaalkaile oru belavinam irukkum what is this brother what you are talking enna saavarna enna pesringa no that is the truth of god's word i am going to show from the scriptures that god's strength manifest only in those places where there is weakness endha edathile belavinangal undo endha edathile saathiyam illayo andha edathile devunde balam as long as we think that we are strong naam nenithukolgrom naame balasaaligal endru god's strength cannot be revealed but only when we are weak then he becomes strong that's what the lord spoke to paul and he said my strength is made perfect in your weakness and even when the writer to the hebrews wrote about the heroes of faith in hebrews chapter number 11 you know the writer he kind of sums it up after all the names are over and in verse number 32 he writes and he says he says what shall i more say for the time will fail to tell me of all the heroes of faith பின்னும் நான் என்ன சொல்லுவேன் ம் படிங்க தொடர்ந்து படிங்க கிதியோன் பாராக் சிம்சோன் எப்தா தாவீது சாமுவேல் என்பவர்களையும் தீர்க்கதரிசிகளின் குறித்து நான் விவரம் சொல்ல வேண்டுமானால் காலம் போதாது விவரம் சொல்ல என்ன போதாதா காலம் போதாது அதெல்லாம் சொல்லிட்டு இன் வெர்ஸ் நம்பர் 33 இஸ் 33 வருஷம் வாட் ஆல் தே டிட் அவர்கள் என்ன செய்தார் வாட் ஆல் தே அச்சீவ்ட் த்ரூ ஃபெய்த் அவர்கள் விசுவாசத்தினால எவ்வளவு ஸ்கிரிப்சர் செஸ் த்ரூ ஃபெய்த் தே சப்டியூட் கிங்டம்ஸ் விசுவாசத்தினால அவர்கள் ராஜ்யங்களை ரோட் ரைச்சியஸ்னஸ் நீதியை நடப்பி அட்டைன் பிராமிசஸ் வாக்கு தத்துவங்களை பெற்றார் ஸ்டாப் தி மவுத்ஸ் ஆஃப் லயன்ஸ் சிங்கங்களின் வாய்களை அடைத்து குயின்ஸ் தி வயலன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபயர் அக்னின் உக்கிரத்தை அவித்து எஸ்கேப் தி எட்ஜ் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்வார்ட் பட்டே கருக்குக்கு தப்பினார்கள் அவுட் ஆஃப் வீக்னஸ் were made strong balavinathil balan kondargal praise the name of the living god god strength is revealed only when there is weakness devanudaiya balam endha edathile balavinam irukkirado andha edathile velippadu if god strength has to be revealed in our life nammudaiya vaalkaiyile devanudaiya balam velippada vendum we have to be aware of our weaknesses nammudaiya balavinangale kuritha oru echcharippu jaagrathai undayirukka vendum this is not a controversial statement இது ஒரு முரண்பாடான ஒரு வாக்கியங்கள் பட் இட் இஸ் தி ட்ரூத் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்கிரிப்சர்ஸ் இது வேத வசனத்தின்படி சத்தியமாக தட் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆஃப் தி चाइल्ड ஆஃப் காட் ஒவ்வொரு தேவனுடைய பிள்ளையும் மஸ்ட் ஆல்வேஸ் ரெகக்னைஸ் அண்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி ட்ரூத் பிஹைண்ட் திஸ் ஸ்டேட்மென்ட் சத்தியத்துக்கு வாக்கியத்துக்கு பின்னாக ஒரு காரியம் இருக்குது என்பதை உணர வேண்டும் because whenever god talks about strength in the bible எப்பொழுதெல்லாம் தேவன் பலம் என்கிற காரியத்தை அவர் உபயோகப்படுத்தி he always associated that strength with his strength அந்த பலம் தன்னுடைய பலம் என்று அவர் அறிக்கிறார் this holy bible இந்த பரிசுத்த வேதம் from the beginning to the end ஆரம்பத்தில் இருந்து முடிவு வரைக்கும் whenever it talks about strength எப்பலாம் பலத்தை பற்றி சொல்கிறது it talks about only the strength of god it never boasts the strength of man because the 
most strong in man yenendal manidhanukulle adhiga balama irukkakoodiya it is the weakest in the sight of god devunudaiya paarvaila adhu adhiga or balavinamaayi kaanapadukkum praise the name of the living god the greatest strength that you can ever find in this earth the bhoomiyile neenga irukkiradile migunda balam endru edhaiyellam the greatest strength of any man illa endha manushinudaiya balathai neenga the greatest strength of any kingdom endha or rajyathin balathai the greatest strength of any weapon endha or aayudha in balathe eduthalum seri it is less than the most weakest in the sight of god devunudaiya paarvaile irukkiradile adhiga balavinamulla oru kaaryam that's why in the scripture whenever the scripture talks about strength eppozhudellam balam endru veda vasanam solugiradhu it always points to the strength of god devunudaiya balathaiye kurippidugiradhu it always refers to the strength of god devunudaiya balathaiye kurippidugiradhu like we read in the book of joshua chapter number 1 yo yoshuavin pustakam rendavathu adhigaram First the Lord says in verse number 5 Modalla 5th vasanathil avar solugirar As I was with Moses naan Moseyude irundhadhu pole I will be with you unnodu kuda irupen I will not fail you nor forsake you unnai vittu velaguvadhum illai unnai kai viduvadhum And then he says be strong and of a good courage Adukapram balam kondu thidamanadhai Praise the name of the living God God did not directly say be strong Andavar neradiyaga nee balam kondu thidamanadhai He did not say go to the gym and build muscles and be strong பாஸ்பர்ட்டி <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Praise the name of the living God. That's what God does. God always wants us to be aware of Him. When we are aware of Him, when we look at Him, when we focus on Him, we know how strong He is and how weak we are. This is what God does. When we compare ourselves with Him and Him alone. Praise the name of the living God. In our Christian life, when we walk with God, when we commune with God, when we read the Bible, when we pray, when we come together in the house of God, when we hear the word of God, what do we understand? It helps us to find our weaknesses. Praise the name of the living God. We draw closer to the presence of God so that we will know how inadequate and how weak we are and how strong he is. It makes us to be aware of our inabilities that, that God is alone able. Praise the name of the living God. A rich young ruler that came to Jesus in Matthew chapter 19 he said good master what should I do to inherit it on a life Jesus listed down the mosaic laws said thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not kill thou shalt not do this and that but the rich young ruler said Lord I have been following all of this from the days of my youth but what one thing do I lack in my life? He wanted to find out what is that weakness in his life. See, we should appreciate this young man for the kind of question he asked. <coughs> we don't know how sincere he was. But he asked a very good question. He wanted to find out what is lacking in his life. He wanted to find out what is weak in his life. Many times these spiritual people, the so-called spiritual people, the so-called church-going people, they don't like to focus on their weaknesses. They somehow want to focus on what are the strengths of their life and kind of overlook the weaknesses of their life. Sir. But this rich young ruler, he wanted to know what was lacking, what was weak in his life. And look at what Jesus said in verse number 21. If thou wilt be perfect, praise the name of the living God. Jesus said, Be perfect as my heavenly Father is perfect. Be holy as I am holy. Love one another as I have loved one another. Be good to others as I am good. Be merciful unto others as I am merciful to you. Be forgiving to others as I am forgiving you. See, God always wants wants his people to compare themselves with himself. That's the work of God. If the spirit of God is genuinely active in our lives, if we are living in the spirit, if we are walking in the spirit, if we are being led by the spirit, we will always be prompted to be compared with him and him alone. Praise the name of the living God. Because only when we compare ourselves with him, 
all our strengths are gone and we will be able to openly see the weaknesses of our lives because from the beginning god always wants his people to be like himself that's how he created man the bible says he created man in his image and after his likeness and even though he went away from god even though man fell in sin christ jesus through his redemption he wants to restore his likeness and his image back to all the believers who would believe on him Ephesians chapter number 4 and verse number 24 Apostle Paul writes and he says and put him on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness so even when we are recreated in our redemption God wants to restore the image and the likeness of God with which once man was created in the beginning so, so God always wants us to be aware that he wants us to be like him that's the number one motive for God to keep us in his existence we are still alive on this earth God has still spared our life because he still wants to see the image and the likeness reflect in our lives and only when we compare ourselves with him through his word he will reveal the things that are weak and are imperfect in our lives so every time we come to the presence of God whenever we commune with God he shows our weaknesses and our inadequacies praise the name of the living God he says if you want to be perfect go and sell all the has to give it to the poor and then come and follow me because that nature was lacking in his life that selfishness was there in his life that was a weak link in his life that was a weakness in the life of this rich young ruler so instead of always looking at the brighter things of our lives we always have to be aware of the weaknesses of our life because when God shows us our weaknesses when God sees our weaknesses he sees that as a vessel to pour his strength praise the name of the living God only when God sees weaknesses and when we acknowledge that weakness yes Lord I am weak yes Lord I cannot I am not able my intellect cannot help me my education cannot help me my influence cannot help me my power cannot help me my money cannot help me my experience cannot help me I am weak and I am weak and I am weak thou art a great God and when we acknowledge our weaknesses God uses that to pour out his strength to manifest his strength to reveal his strength to our lives then we will see the glory of God manifest then we can see the sick being healed then we see the problems being solved then we see the sin turn into righteousness 
then God's purpose will be fulfilled in our lives then God's plan will be fulfilled in our lives this is God's way of making us aware of our weaknesses but the slick devil he uses the same trick do you know how he does he makes us to feel weak by comparing ourselves with others hey look at who is sitting next to you look at that brother look at this sister look at the opposite house look at your neighbor now this you can identify this is the work of the devil god will never make us to identify our weakness by comparing ourselves with others god will make us to understand our weakness by comparing ourselves with him this is the god's way of making us aware of our weakness but the slick dirty devil disgusting deplorable devil he always will come and tell us that we are weak tell us we are good for nothing by making us compare ourselves with others then we go to depression oh i am no good i am not any good than that brother i am not any good you know than that sister this is the slick and dirty work of the devil but god when he sees the weaknesses that he shows what is his intention why does god show our weakness why does god expect us to acknowledge our weakness because he wants to pour his strength praise the name of the living god he wants to give his strength that's the intention of god but when the devil comes and tells us that we are weak by making us to compare ourselves with others what is his intention his intention is to condemn us to see to that we won't get closer to god so that god's purpose and plan is not fulfilled in our lives see it's the same thing but two different motives god shows our weakness and expects us to acknowledge our weakness so that he can pour his strength into us and make us to fulfill his purpose and plan to walk in victory to make us an instrument to manifest his glory but the devil he makes us weak he tells us that we are weak by making us to compare ourselves with others so that he will condemn us so that God's purpose and plan is not fulfilled in our life so when God helps us to identify and acknowledge the weakness of our life it is to draw us closer to him so that we will rely on him we will trust in him but when the devil makes us aware of our weaknesses by comparing ourselves with others his intention is to lead us away from god praise the name of the living god we as god's people must always be aware of our weaknesses and acknowledge our weaknesses in the sight of the almighty god praise the name of the living god many times people are afraid of their weaknesses do you know why they are afraid they are afraid because they will be rejected 
Well, people may reject you. But before the sight of God, when we identify and acknowledge our weaknesses, He will never ever reject us. He will always gather us. He will see us as an opportunity to pour His strength. When we acknowledge our weaknesses, we are giving Him an indication, Lord, I am relying on You. I myself, I cannot do anything of myself. I am trusting you. I don't have any ability. I am trusting your ability. Praise the name of the living God. That's the benefit of acknowledging our weaknesses. The moment anybody acknowledges their weakness, immediately what happens? The immediate response is to put their trust and their reliance on somebody who is strong. Praise the name of the living God. If a father is taking his five-year-old for a walk, and when the child sees here and there, when it sees the traffic, when it sees the roughness of the road, and when it thinks that it cannot manage by itself, what does it immediately do? It immediately trusts its father. He says, Daddy, why don't you help me? Why don't you carry me? I cannot stand this rough path. I cannot stand this traffic. You help me. I am relying on you. I am trusting you. And that's how we become. As the children of God. When we trust our heavenly father. When we acknowledge our weaknesses. When we acknowledge the insufficiencies of our life. When we acknowledge that we are nothing. That we are nobody. And that God is everything. That without God that we are nothing. Then only we will be able to rely on him. Many times. People are not fully relying on God. People are not fully trusting God. Because they believe. They can manage certain things on their own. Only when things go out of control in their lives. Only when it goes out of the point of no return. Then only they try to trust God and rely on God. But the sheep of God's pasture. The chosen people of God. The blood bought redeemed bride of Jesus Christ. Those that are born again by the incorruptible seed of God's word. Those who are elected by the election of God's grace. Elected by the foreknowledge of God. Elected for the sanctification of the spirit and to obedience. Those people, no matter whether it is everyday affairs of their life, whether it is crisis or no crisis, they will all the time rely on God. They will all the time fully trust in God. Because these people are always aware of their weaknesses and their inadequacies. We must always understand our disabilities and God's abilities. 
ദേവനുടെ തിരണിയും ദേവന്റെ ബലത്തെയും നമ്മുടെ ഏലാമയും നമ്മുടെ ബലവീനത്തെയും നാം ഒരു കാലം മറന്നു ഹൃദയത്തിലെത്തപ്പെട്ടവരാണ് <laughs> of themselves uh, because these people they have tried everything and they are <coughs> sick and tired of everything because everything has failed they came to a realization that they cannot live this life on their own on their own strength on their own abilities they desperately wanted to tell God I cannot manage this life on my own I cannot overcome sin I cannot overcome all this filth in this world That's why because of that pricking they asked the question to the disciples They said what shall we do to be saved and then peter said repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of the lord jesus christ for the remission of your sins and then you shall receive the gift of the holy ghost praise the name of the living god we all have gone through that experience but a problem with a lot of believers is after they repent after they get baptized after god pours into them his spirit they forget their weakness they forget to distinctly see the strength of god and their own weaknesses devunudeya balatha ennavum thangulude balavinangale kurithu ennavum thavari ponargal they fail to realize that without god in the picture their life is nothing illama ennala onnu seiya mudiyadu engra andha nilamaiye marandu ponargal that's why apostle paul writing to the corinthian church he says adanal da paulo thessalon corinthian sabai kavar eludhi theriviki in first corinthian chapter number 15 ondu corinthian 15th avadhu and in verse number 31 he says the last part of that scripture he says i die daily what does that mean he is not physically hurting himself to death but he understands that he is weak praise the name of the living god what is death death is weakness what is life life is strength when apostle paul wrote and said i die daily what does he mean to say i identify and acknowledge that i am weak i identify and acknowledge i am weak every day yesterday i was weak today i am weak tomorrow i will be weak because he understood only when he is weak god can pour out his strength and make him strong galatians 2:20 he writes and he says I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. நான் இப்பொழுது மாம்சத்தில் பிழைத்திருக்கிறதோ என்னில் அன்பு கூர்ந்து எனக்காக தம்மை தாமே ஒப்பு கொடுத்த தேவனுடைய குமாரனுடைய குமாரனை பற்றும் விசுவாசத்தினாலே பிழைத்திருக்கிறேன். Praise the name of the living God. He says I am crucified with christ nan christulane kuda sulubeyil arayunde what is crucifixion crucifixion makes a person weak 
drop by drop it takes out the blood out of him and makes him weak and puts him to death it's a slow death and apostle Paul writes and he says I am dying every day I am going through this slow death but yet I live why how because in that weakness when I identify and acknowledge my weakness Christ is pouring out his strength and this life which I am now living in this flesh I live by the faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me Praise the name of the living God. Galatians 2.21, he goes on to say, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. If I think that I can work the law, I can live by the law. What am I doing? First of all he won't be able to do it that's what people tried for 4000 years and they miserably failed that's why Christ Jesus came and he fulfilled that law praise the name of the living God if we don't acknowledge our weakness if we don't identify and acknowledge the weakness of our life we are frustrating the grace of God Galatians 5.24 Same apostle Paul writes and he says For they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts That's why it's very important to always identify and acknowledge the weaknesses of our life By comparing ourselves with God Because that will make us get closer to God. That will make us to rely on God. That will make us to trust Him more and more. The more and more we identify our weakness. The more and more we acknowledge our weakness. The more and more He will pour out His strength. Because God's strength is revealed only where there is weakness. This kind of identification of our weakness, this acknowledging of our weakness, it will not personally de devalue you. It's not for personal devaluing. It's not to condemn us. But this is a fact before God. Praise the name of the living God. When you compare yourselves with Him, if somebody thinks, you know, he is something. Like the one that prayed inside the temple that Jesus talked about. Oh, I give tithings in all my labor. I fast and pray regularly. I read ten chapters every day. See, it's all I. I pray, I did this, I did that, I went to preach, I go to church every week, I do this, I do that, then automatically it will take us to compare ourselves with others. That's what, that's what he said, I am not like that publican. See, this is what the devil does. But the one that was praying outside, 
but the one that was praying outside the temple ana alayathukku veliye nindu kondirundha avan he acknowledged his weakness thannude balavinathai kurithu avan angikarithan praise the name of the living god alayathukku poradhukku munnadi aandavara nenichitan adanalu avan evlo balavinamanavan evlo kuraigal irukindrathu avarku enna ulle poradhukulliye enna pannirche velangirche kai thooki enna solraare lord have mercy on me the sinner en mel kaviyaga en mel kirubaiyaga to whom did god give his mercy <laughs> to the one who identified and acknowledged his weakness why because the one that prayed outside he compared himself with god i want to tell all those people who always boasts about their prayer and this and that and the other காரியங்களை குறித்து எப்போதும் பெருமைப்படுத்தி பேசுகிறார். I talk about my strength and என்னுடைய பலம். my ministry என்னுடைய ஊழியம். my church going என்னுடைய சபைக்கு my fasting என்னுடைய பாஸ் my prayer my reading the bible my this and my that I want to tell you no matter how much ever you read and fast and pray and go to church and give to the lord நீ எவ்வளவு வாசித்து ஜெபித்து நீ எப்படி if you close your eyes and compare your life with almighty god it won't take even a second for you to realize that how weak you are and how strong he is and how much you need him how much you need to trust him how much you need to rely on him so this acknowledging this identification of our weakness it is a fact this is not fake humility this is a fact praise the name of the living god this is agreeing with the reality when we compare ourselves with god yes he has made us righteous yes he has made us holy but is it manifesting in our lives how can it manifest only when we rely and trust him and when can we rely and trust him only when we identify and acknowledge our weaknesses praise the name of the living god this is real humility that when we compare ourselves with god we understand that we are weak and that he is strong and without him we cannot do anything when we are aware of that when we are aware of that all the time in our life that's the time god will keep us in his strength all the time praise the name of the living god that's the time god will use us pours out his strength in us lead us in his purpose help us to fulfill his plan then there will be nothing to boast about in our life no matter how much ever he uses us how much ever strength of god is revealed in our life we will understand we are just an instrument praise the name of the living god when somebody plays music nice music and everybody applauds it does the glory go to the instrument or the musician that played the instrument ellarum kai thattranga music vaasikira or vaasthu mudichittaar avarude performance ellarum elundhu enna pandranga kai thattranga yaarku kai thattranga இந்த மரத்தில் செஞ்ச கிட்டாருக்கா இல்லை அந்த கிட்டாரை ஒருத்தன் கையில் பிடிச்சி வாசித்தானே 
when we acknowledge and identify our weaknesses namude belavinangale nam adayalam kandu angikarikkum and put our reliance on trust in god even me the saandu kolludalayum nambikkum navai so that he can pour out his strength on us avarude belathe avan namakku utru and use us to fulfill his purpose and plan namale avude nokathe avude thittathai nam to live our lives on this earth bhoomile nam vaalgira vaalkai to whom the glory will go yaarukku nam magime pogum it will go to the musician adu vande and the isai Praise the name of the living God. We are just an instrument, like a musical instrument in the hands of the musician. Praise the name of the living God. When we are insufficient and weak, can I identify and acknowledge that? We will trust God and rely on God for anything and everything. தேவனிடத்திலே நம்பிக்கையும் சாந்து கொள்ளும் எல்லர்க்கும் எல்லாவற்றுக்கும் நாம் ஐக்கியவர்களாக Praise the name of the living God starting from Tata salt to safety pin to any great thing that you can imagine நாம் பின்னில இருந்து சேஃப்டி பின்ல இருந்து உப்புல இருந்து எல்லாவற்றுக்கும் அவரை நாம் சாந்து கொள்ள Why because we understand that we are nothing ஏனென்றால் நான் புரிந்து கொண்டது என்னை குறித்து நான் ஒன்றுமே இல்ல And that he is everything அவரே எனக்கு எல்லாம் You know have you seen many times people say I am nothing brother சானேக சொல்றதை நான் கேட்டிருக்கேன் انا நான் ஒண்ணுமே இல்ல சார் because they want to make this statement and earn the pitiness of the people ஜனங்களிடத்திலிருந்து ஒரு பரிதாபத்தை எதிர்பார்த்து அவங்க அப்படி சொல்ற but when god hears i am nothing ஆனா தேவனுக்கு முன்பாக நீ நான் ஒண்ணுமே இல்ல நீ சொல்லி he genuinely feels very happy about it உண்மையாவே நீ சொன்னா ஆண்டவரும் அந்த குறித்து சந்தோஷம் because god sees a vessel that he can use அவர் உபயோகப்படுத்த போற ஒரு பாத்திரமாய் அவர் உன்னை காண்கிறார் so whether it is any problem in our life vaalkile enna or prachana any crisis in our life or sikkalgal irundhal or any good days in our life nalla naatkal in our bad days in our life kedudalana naatkal in our for everything when we identify and are acknowledging and aware of the weaknesses and the inadequacies of our life namude vaalkinude belavinangalum yelamigalum mudiya ondum illadavigalum avarthu nam angikarithu nam adin adayalam kaanumbodhu all the time ella neram namm all circumstances ella sunnaligalil we will trust him and rely on him appozhudhu avare maatrame nambi avare saandirpom that's how the genuine believers have to live their life oru unmaiyulla vishwasi thanude vaalkai appadi thaan vaalvaanga many times when we become christians and when everything gets good and good going in our life krishavagalaga maari ella karyangalum sumugama nalla poittirukku we rely on god only for things that we are not able to manage ourselves namme namme samalikka mudiyada karyathukku maatram da aandavara nama theeduvom namme true believers they cannot be like that ana unmaiyulla oru vishwasi appadi seiyamaatta in philippians 4:13 the scripture says philippians 4:30 le paarkoru i can do 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me yeah. நிறைவேற்றப்படாத <laughs> 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 why yeah. because it is christ who strengthens <coughs> us and christ strengthens only where there is weakness john 15 5 our lord jesus said i am the vine you are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him ஒருவனினிலும் நான் அவனிலும் நிலைத்து தே சேம் bring it forth much fruit for without me you can do nothing அவன் மிகுந்த கனிகளை கொடுப்பான் என்னையெல்லாம் உங்களால் ஒன்றும் செய்ய கூடாது praise the name of the living god jesus very clearly told you know this is a very plain statement இது வந்து வெளிப்படையாய் சொல்லப்பட very blunt statement வெளிப்படையாய் அது சொல்லப்பட்டது nobody needs to interpret it for us இதுக்கு யாரும் 
as we hear we can understand it he says without me you can do no thing only when we are aware about the inadequacies and inabilities of our lives the weakness of our life we will rely on god and trust god for his desire his plan and his will and purpose to be fulfilled in our lives namale valkai avar kondirukkira vaanjai thirtam nokam sittam sagalathiyum nammale nerevetra mudiyum when we are aware about this weaknesses inda balavinangale kuritha oru jaagrade namakku undagumbodhu surrender won't be a problem anga arpanikkiradhu dhaan prachane aagudhu you know a lot of people they have problem surrendering submitting anegarude vaalkaila prachane na andavarku thanai arpanikkira oru kaariyam because that is a that is given to us as a doctrine enna adhu oru upadesamaga christian submission kristava adipanidhal many scriptures in the bible anega veda vasanangal submit yourselves therefore unto god neengal devanukku keelpadindirungal be under the mighty hands of god devunude valamila karathile ungal submit yourselves therefore unto god and resist the devil neengal devanukku keelpadindirungal pisasu keethilengal see there is no alternative to submission in christianity true christianity unmai kristavathile கிறிஸ்துவுக்கு அர்ப்பணிக்கிறது அடிபணிறதுக்கு வேற காரியமே இல்ல பிரைஸ் தி நேம் ஆஃப் தி லிவிங் காட் many people they try to find alternatives for submission अनेகர் அந்த அர்ப்பணிப்புக்கு வேற ஒரு காரியம் without fully submitting how can they manage their lives முழுசுமா அர்ப்பணிக்காமலே எப்படி வாழ்க்கை சமாளிக்கலாம் but christian submission has been given to us as a doctrine ஆனால் கிறிஸ்தவ அர்ப்பணிப்பு நமக்கு உபதேசமாக கொடுக்கும் many times why people are not able to totally surrender ஏன் ஜனங்கள் अनेக நேரங்களிலே தங்களை முழுமையாக அர்ப்பணிக்க they are not able to totally submit devunukku mulumaya thangal adipaniya mudiyadha nilai because they have not realized identified and are willing to acknowledge the weaknesses of their lives avargalude vaalkai niyalamigalaiyum balavinangalaiyum avargal adayalam kanala angikarikkala but when we go by what the scripture says vedavasanam solugirabadi nam seiyumbodhu according to his leading avarudaiya nadathudalin badiya when we constantly keep comparing ourselves with him todandhu nilaitha vannamai avarodu kuda nammai oppi we will be always be aware of our inabilities nam eppodum nammude elamai kuritha oru jagrathai we will know god is fully able devanukku ellam seiyamudiyum that he is the only one on which we can rely on avar oru var dhaan nam saandukolla koodiya oru var he is the only the one on whom we can trust no namba kudi avar oru var dhan avar praise the name of the living god many times you know people are talking about revival 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 anega nerangalile elupudal elupudal elupudalai patti pesu what revival what is what is revival elupudal endral enna revival comes by the quickening of god's power devunudaiya vallamai naale uirpikkum devunudaiya vallamu uirpikkiradha enna adu elu eda elupu mudi aandavaru chetta dhaan enna panna mudiyum uiroda irukiradha <laughs> true revival can happen only when where there is an acknowledgement of weaknesses devunude vallamayana uyirthaludal uyirpikkapadudal endru because only where there is an acknowledgement of weakness ange enge balavinathai avargal angikarikkirargalo there will be total surrender avargal mulumaiyai adipani vaar surrender to only what god says devan solugiradhukku maatrame surrender exactly to what god says avargal solugiradhukku sariya avargal surrender to fully what god says devan solugira mulumaikkum avargal seivar yes in these last days god is reviving a body of believers சுவாசிகளே தேவன் அவர் உயிர்ப்பிக்கிறார் இட் இஸ் not happening only in a specific location அது ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட இடங்களிலே மாத்திரம் இட்ஸ் not happening only in a specific church or in a denomination ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட சபை ஸ்தாபனங்களிலே Yes God is reviving the lives of those people who are surrendering to him அவருடைய வாழ்க்கை ஆண்டவருக்கு அர்ப்பணிக்கிற அடிபணிகிற எவருக்கும் தேவன் அவிதமாக செய்கிறார் Who will acknowledge their weaknesses before God அவருடைய பலவீனங்களை யாரெல்லாம் தேவனுக்கு முன்பாக அறிக்கிறார் Who are acknowledging the inadequacies of their lives before God அவங்களுடைய முடியாமை ஒன்றுமில்லாத தன்மையை யாருக்கெல்லாம் தேவன் யாரெல்லாம் தேவனுக்கு அதை because resurrection of life is possible only when there is death எங்கே மரணம் இருக்குறதோ அந்த இடத்துல மாத்திரமே உயிர்த்தெழுதலுக்கு வாய்ப்பு only god can make a nobody to a somebody தேவன் நம்மை ஒன்றுமில்லாத நிலையிலிருந்து நம்மை ஒரு praise the name of the living god for this the world is offering so many alternatives இதற்கு தேவன் தம்முடைய வார்த்தையை கொண்டு अनेक காரியங்களை நமக்கு கொடுத்து instead of rely 
relying on God. You know, the world has so many options. Ulagam. The world has so many options. It offers us education. It gives us power. The worldly power. Influence. Ability. Money. They say, with money I can do this. Why disturb God? You know, many years before, many years before, it's not in this country, a brother took me on a long drive. And we were having conversation about different things. And there came a conversation about self-defense. And when we talked about it, he said in his car he had two guns. He said, see brother, I have one on the left side, one on the right side. If the bad guy comes to the right, I will take the left gun. Because when you are in danger, every second is very important. <laughs> Look at his logic. He says, when somebody comes in the left, I use the right hand to take the gun that I have on my right side. I said, brother, we trust God. <laughs> because in India, unless you are super rich, you know, you cannot even own a gun or have a license for gun. He says, brother, when you can handle your own protection, why you have to disturb God for all that? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I said, whether you have gun or you don't have gun, God is the one who protects his people. <coughs> so like this, the world has given so many options, alternatives. With my education, I can manage. With my money, with my power, with my influence. Even the churches and the denominations in this world, they have also given us an alternative. Instead of fully trusting God, some people, they want to trust their organizations. Some people want to trust their intellects. And that their intellect of the scriptures, their understanding, their interpretations of the scriptures. And there is another group, they believe in sensations. Hey, emotions. This and that and the other. You know, the devil has taken uh, a part of the church into two extremes. Uh, uh, one is trusting on too much of intellectual. Uh, intellectual Bible. Uh, enticing words of man's wisdom like Paul writes. Uh, the other, other side goes with sensations and emotionalism, trusting that it is a miracle and a sign and a wonder. Uh, but when we are sincere and surrender to God, we will rely on Him. We will fully trust Him. And God will see us as a vessel to pour His strength to lead us and guide us. This kind of surrender, when we acknowledge our weaknesses, this kind of surrender, it comes from the heart, not just with our lips. Yes, it will be foolishness to the world. Even it might be foolishness to a part of the church. It will be a foolishness to the modern age in which we are living. Yes, the world will think it is something to be rejected. But God sees a sincerity in that. Look for example, the disciples of our Lord Jesus. You know, there were two kinds of disciples. One, group, one, one, one kind of disciples, they were highly 
educated and well off people they were high in their education high in their social status high in the powers of the world but the other group of the disciples they were fishermen they were unlearned men they were uneducated men take for example Peter he was a professional fisherman that's all he was doing all the days of his life but when God said follow me he followed him praise the name of the living God he totally trusted him he totally relied on him praise the name of the living God at the same time there was Matthew he was a tax collector highly respected great social status in his day and time or for example you take Luke he was a medical doctor he also followed Jesus he was also one of the disciples of our Lord Jesus no matter whether they were educated or uneducated whether they had power or no power whether they had influence or no influence whether they had money or no money when they responded to the call of God when they wanted to follow Jesus Christ they all realized their inadequacies and their weaknesses they knew whether they were educated or not educated they were weak whether they had money or no money they acknowledged they were weak whether they had power or no power influence or no influence they identified acknowledged and were aware about their weaknesses that's why God gave them the power God filled them with their strength God filled them with their might with the exception of Judas and they were able to shake the world so it doesn't matter who we are or what we are when we come to God when we see God in our lives it should make us to understand that we are insufficient and weak and that without him we cannot do anything then God can pour out his strength in our life and he can lead us and guide us in the way everlasting praise the name of the living God acknowledging identifying and being aware of our weakness is very important let's take for example Paul he was a great scholar Acts chapter number 22 and verse number 3 the scripture says it says I am verily a man which am a Jew born in Tarsus a city in Sicilia it brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers and was zealous toward God as ye all are this day. Mm. Praise the name of the living God. When Apostle Paul was testifying about himself, he says, I am a Jewish by birth, but a Roman citizen. He, was, he had so many things that he could boast of in his life. Praise the name of the living God. First of all, he was a born Jew but he was a Roman citizen in the days of Paul calling himself to be a Roman citizen is like now calling someone a citizen in 
some western country in uh, europe or in north america and the nalile naan unde roma kudimagan endru paulo posan kaalathile solradhu edhukku inda naalukku samanda மேற்கத்திய நாடுகளிலே காணப்படுகிற மென்மையான ஒரு தேசத்தினுடைய குடிமகன் என்று எப்படி <laughs> 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 பாதத்தருகே உட்கார்ந்து but before conversion paul did not even have the slightest of the discernment that this man gamaliel had in the amma gamaliel ku irundha and arivu kuda konjam kuda and pagutharivu paulukk illa before conversion avar and saul paul aagradhukku munnadi let's go to read about gamaliel and the gamaliel e kurithu padikkalam next chapter number 5 beginning from verse number 34 the scripture says then stood there up one in the council a pharisee named gamaliel a doctor of the law <coughs> and in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space அப்பொழுது சகல ஜனங்களாலும் கனம் பெற்ற நியாய சாஸ்திரியாகிய கமாலியேல் என்னும் பெயர் கொண்ட ஒரு பரிசேயன் ஆலோசனை சங்கத்தில் எழுந்திருந்து அப்போ சிலரை சற்று நேரம் வெளியே கொண்டு போக சொல்லி இந்த மனுஷன் சங்கத்திலே முக்கியமானுடைய காலத்திலே அவன் வந்து பெரிய ஒரு ஸ்தாபனத்திலே இருந்தார் putting himself to be a great religious leader because he was a doctor of the law and when the apostles were brought there to be persecuted this man said give them a little space verse number 35 he said unto them me men of israel take heed to yourselves what he intend to do as touching these men sangathare nokki isravelare inda manusharukku neengal seiya pogurade kurithu echerikkayirungal sisi enna pandrare ellarai adichi duvam sammanikittirukkaru ana vaathiyar enna pandrare eba paathu ivanga mela kaiya vekkiradhukku munnadi enna pannunga Huh? before you put your put your hands on these men just think for a while konja yosinga pa ivanga mela kai vekkapona but his student who grew up under him saul he was persecuting the church anal ivarku manakana irundha saul sabaigale he was vandalizing killing and hitting and doing all kinds of things to everyone that believed in christ suvai viswasikkira evari madikavum kollavum kattavum avar irundha but the teacher says in the council anal பாராட்டினான் 
ஏறக்குறைய நானூறு பேர் அவனை சேர்ந்தார்கள் அவன் மடிந்து போனான் அவனை நம்பின அனைவரும் சிதறி அவமாய் போனார்கள் சோ தேர் வாஸ் எ ஃபேக் கை கால் தேடஸ் அந்த தேவதாஸ் என்கிற ஒரு தம்போலி ஹி வாஸ் போஸ்டிங் அபௌட் ஹிம்செல்ஃப் அவன் தன்னை ஒரு பெரியவனாக ஹேவ் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் क्राउड ஃபாலோவிங் ஹிம் அவனை अनेक கூட்டம் போச்சு பின்னாடி பட் ஹி வாஸ் ஸ்லெய்ன் انا அவ வந்து and all the people that followed him they were scattered அவனை பின்பற்றி போன எல்லாரும் சிதறி போனாங்க தென் இன் வாஸ் நம்பர் 37 37th this is what gamaliel says after this man rose up judas of galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him he also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed avanukku pinbu kudimadi pin naatkalile galileya nagi yudas enbavan elimi thanne pinbattapadi anega janangal elithan avanum alindu ponaan avane nambi irundha anevaram sidaradikkapatta see this kind of groups they were coming before also idhukku munadi indha mari kootta vandute like these apostles who are talking about christ christuve patti pesugira andha like so much of crowd following them avare chutti neriya kootam varudhu there were two people before that came like that rendu per idhukku munadi idhe maari vandha there was a guy named theodos another guy named judas ortham the judas nu ortham vandha judas they also talked and so many crowd followed them avangalum ipdi pesunanga avangala chutti but they were all all fake they died and everyone that followed them was scattered ella madindu pona avan nambi irundha ellarum sidaradikkapatta verse number 38 is yes now i say unto you refrain from these men and let them alone ippozhudhu naan ungalku solugiradhu enna vendal indha manushanukku onnum seiyamal ivargalai vittu vidungal because if this counsel or this work be of men it will come to naught indha yosanaiyum indha kiriyum manusharal undai irundadanal olindhu pogum but if it be of god he cannot overthrow it. let happily be found even to fight against god devanal unda irundade anal adu olithu vidamungalal koodadu devanude por seigaravala kanapadada vidikku paarungal endar paarunga gamaliyelukku enna oru oru gnanam the man who educated saul saulukku padippu koduth he had a little light of discernment in him avanukku konjam pagu therivu undai he says don't persecute these guys avangala vandu uthra padathadinga don't be scared that many people are following them avangala sutti neriya per poranga nu solli bayapadadinga there were many fake people that came before munadi idu pola neriya per vandanga they all died and everybody that followed them was scattered avangala madindu ponanga avangala paala pinbatti ponanga if these apostles what they are doing the apostles seigiradella if it is fake or if it is not right adu vandu poliya adu sariya illatina it will be brought to not it will be destroyed by itself adu apdiye thanave maranji poidum but if it is god anal adu devanal unda irundadanal you cannot do anything ninga onru ungalala sey mudiyadhu praise the name of the living god this apostle paul inda apostle who was perfectly taught the law and nyaya pramanathin padi kutra saatta sat under this man avan inda gamaliel paadathile ukkandu but before conversion he didn't have the light that he had avan maarvadharku munbaga ivan kondirundha so paul had also everything to boast about in his life paul apostle thanude walkin menmeyaga kaaryangal anega kaaryangale kurithu menme padi even you take his spiritual side spiritual experience aavikuriya kannilaye kuda eduthukollunga today we know he wrote most part of the new testament he had revelations that not many people had even in the old testament even apostle peter writes and he says some of the things that our brother paul wrote it's hard to be understood for those that perish அதாவது பேதுர் வந்து பவுளை பிரித்து சொல்கிறார் அவர் எழுதி இருக்கிறது வந்து நம்ம கற்றுக்கொள்கிறதுக்கு சில அரிதாக இருக்கிறது புரிந்து கொள்ள he had all nine gifts of the spirit avarku ella avikuri and onbadu varangalum undai there are there is biblical scriptural evidence that apostle paul had all the nine gifts of the spirit paul apostle nukku and onbadu varangalum avikuri varangalum undai irundathu kuriya sagala aadharam veda god chose him as a light to the gentile nations avar and purajadigalukku kuriya sagala perkum or velichathe avar god took him everywhere avar enga venal he was the first person to break the gospel in many nations அநேக தேசங்களுக்கு சுவிசேஷத்தை எடுத்து கொண்டு போன ஒரு மனுஷன் ஈவன் டுடே இன் சர்ச் ஹிஸ்டரி இந்த நாளிலும் சபை வரலாறு இன் many nations பால் வாஸ் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் டு பிரேக் தி காஸ்பல் ஆஃப் ஜீசஸ் கிறிஸ்ட் பால் அப்போஸ்தலன் தான் முதல் முதலாக தேவனுடைய சுவிசேஷத்தை எடுத்து கொண்டு போனவர் ஹி சேஸ் அவர் சொல்கிறார் இன் 1 கொரிந்தியன் சாப்டர் 2 அண்ட் வெர்ஸ் நம்பர் 1 1 கொரிந்தியர் 2 1 லே 
these are the words of paul idu paula personudaya vaarthigal he says and i brethren when i came to you came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of god sagodare naan ungaladathil vandha podu devane pattiya saatchiye serandha vasani podavadhu gyanathodavadhu arivikkiravanaga varavillai yenga avarku maar thattnona evlo irukudhu he can thump his chest and boast of many things but when he talked to the corinthian church that had a lot of sin problems he is still humbling himself he says when i came to you came not i with the excellency of speech or of wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of god he was exhibiting his weakness and in verse number 2 he writes and he says for i determined not to know anything among you save jesus christ and him crucified verse number 3 he says and i was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling allamalum nan balavinathodum bayathodum migunda nadukathodum ungaladathil irundhen see how he is demonstrating his weakness tanude balavinathe avar eppadi velippadiya solrar praise the name of the living god to the people janangalathile you know today many preachers indha naalile anega pressinga irgal they would like for people to know only their strength avarude balatha maathram than janangal ariya vendum endru virumbugirargal they want to show only the trophies of their life avarude vaazhkaiyil avaru petrukonda andha trophies maathrame paakanum because they are afraid if they would show their trials and their weaknesses that they would be rejected avargal sodhanigalai avarude belavinangalai avargal arindu kondargal anal adu or avargalukku oru kurai kuraivana kaaryam aayidhu but apostle paul knows he is weak anyhow <laughs> without god he is nothing avarukku nandraga theriyum devan illamal than ondum illai that's why he has no problems in openly talking to the people anal janangalidathile pesumbodhu velippadaiyai avar pesugar i was with you in weakness in fear and in much trembling avinathodu bayathodu migunda nadukathodum ungalidathile what kind of fear he had avar eppadi pettadana bayam not somebody would catch him and kill him avare pidichi yara konnuduvaanga endra bayam but the fear that he had was the fear of god avaru devunukku bayapadukira bayathodu avare irundha he thought that he would do something to displease god in some way he want <coughs> wanted to be right devunukku priyam illada edavadhu or karyathai seidhu viduvaro endra or bayam in verse number 4 he says and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power in peechu men prasangam manushya gyanathukuriya nayavasanam ullada iramal aavinalum belathnalum uridhi patta patta irundhathu that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of god ungal viswasam manusarude gyanathil alla devunde belathil nirkumbadikku praise the name of the living god that's why he says in philippians 3:13 adam philippians 3:13 la varu vidhamai such a man with such immaculate training in the law he says மனுஷனை <laughs> and then in verse number 15 he says let us therefore as many be perfect be thus minded and if anything ye be otherwise minded god shall reveal even this unto you ஆகையால் நம்ம தேர்ந்தவர்கள் யாவரும் இந்த சிந்தையா இருக்க கடவும் இந்த காரியத்திலாவது நீங்கள் வேற சிந்தையா இருந்தால் அதையும் தேவன் உங்களுக்கு வெளிப்படுத்துவார் யார் தெரியுமா ஆண்டவர் பார்வையில பெர்ஃபெக்ட் ஹலோ இது ஏன் பார்வையில் நீங்கள் பெர்ஃபெக்டோ இல்லை உங்கள் பார்வையில் நான் பெர்ஃபெக்டோ இல்லை ஆண்டோர் பார்வையில் யார் பெர்ஃபெக்டு நான் வந்து வீக்குன்றவன் தான் யார் ஆண்டோர் பார்வையில் ஹலோ நான் சொல்ல பைபிள் சொல்லுது இப்பேற்பட்ட சிந்தையுள்ளவன் தான் எப்படிப்பட்டவனா தேரினவன் praise the name of the living god in the sight of god when somebody acknowledges i count not myself to have apprehended he is perfect in the sight of god he says let us therefore as many as be perfect be thus minded and if anything 
e be otherwise minded god shall reveal even this and to you therinavargal yavarum inda sindhaya irukka kadavum endha kaaryathilavathu ningal vere sindhaya irundal adhiyum devan ungalku velippaduthu aandavar dhaan ungala enna pannum ba kaapaathunnadare illa enakku vandu ellam theriyum naan ellaatriyum adanjiten ellaatriliyum therinavan aayitten appadi enna na aandavar dhaan unakku velippaduthu unakku enna pannu nee avar illamal nee onnume illendrada அவர் தான் உனக்கு என்ன பண்ணுன்றாரு இது இன்றைக்கி சபையில் ஒரு பெரிய டுடேஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் வித் த சர்ச் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் சபையில் இருக்கிற பிரச்சனைகளிலே இன்றைக்கி இந்த பிரச்சனையும் உண்டு தே டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு டெல் த பீப்புள் தட் தே ஆர் வீக் அவர்கள் பலவீனர்கள் என்பதை ஜனங்களிடத்திலே சொல்ல விருப்பம் இல்லை தே வாண்ட் to be very positive okay ipo nermariyana enna yes say you are strong you can do all things no before we can do all things before christ gets strengthen us first we have to realize that we are weak but today a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that the truth is we are weak without god it's very important for us every true believer to identify his weakness over unmayulla viswasim thannude balavinathe avan adayalam to acknowledge his weakness thannude balavinathe angikarikkum to be aware of his weakness avanude balavinathe kuritha oru vilippu irukkum only then he will be able to rely on god mathrame avan devanai saandukolla koodiyavan aagum only then god can reveal his strength in his life even appodu avarude balathe avanukku kodupa because jesus very clearly said without him we are nothing பிரதிபலிக்கும் <laughs> இப்படிப்பட்டவனை குறித்து மேன்மை பாராட்டுவேன் ஆனாலும் என்னை குறித்து என் பிறவீனங்களை அண்டி வேறு ஒன்றிலும் மேன்மை பாராட்ட மாட்டேன் என்னை குறித்து மேன்மை பாராட்ட எதனா இருக்குன்னா என்னதான் என்னுடைய வீக்னஸ் ஹலோ எத்தனை பேர் நீங்கள் ஜோம் பண்ணுறப்ப ஆண்டவர் என்னுடைய பலவீனத்திற்காக நன்றி சொல்லியிருக்கீங்க இட் இஸ் அப்சல்யூட்லி ஸ்கிரிப்சர் இல்லை when we identify and acknowledge and aware of our weaknesses nam nammude balavinangale kuritha or arikayum angikaramum nam yes we will thank god for our weaknesses nammude balavinangalukkai nam aandavarku nandri solutha praise the name of the living god why what's the reason only because of that weakness and balavinathinaale maatra god will pour us out his strength nammude balathai namakku utrugira and fulfill his plan and his desire thittathai avrude nokkathai inda bhoomile nam nerevetrumadi seigira praise the name of the living god after his strength is come in us and the balam namakkule vandha pinbu no matter whatever we do nam enna seidhalum seri it's not us but it is god in us devan namakkul irundhu seigiravara irukkarar praise the name of the living god amen namakkum namakkul irukkira devanukkumana vyathasatha therinjikinu We need to know the difference between us and God in us. Namakkum namukkul vaasama irukkira devanukkum uriya vithyasathai nam ariyavendum. God in us we are strong. Devan namukkul irundal nam balam. Without God we are nothing. Devan illavittal nam balam. But with God we are just instruments in the hand of God. Devan nodu irukkumbodhu nam avrude karathin kariyai. But today's ministers have forgotten that. Nal inda naalile uliyakkarargal. This is not just a problems with the believers and their personal lives. Inda naatkalile viswasigal avargal thanipatta vaalkaiyile maatram inda prachanai. This is the problem even with the ministries in this world today because of the gifts people 
they boast themselves they want to show something different to the people they wanted to create a perception among the people they want people to acknowledge that they are something but that's not how god expects his people to be even when we read about moses we read in chapter number 3 in the book of exodus we all know about the history of moses he was a man who grew up in the palace highly educated man he built many cities even today some of the best architectures are there only in egypt nobody has found out how such an architecture is possible even today and moses he was a part of that architecture he was a man who did not build some shopping mall or shopping complex or apartments but he built cities he won many battles in his day and time but god took him to the wilderness for what reason to make him realize this one thing that he is nothing his education is nothing his ability is nothing his engineering power is nothing his intellect is battle strategy is nothing and he said go and deliver my people <laughs> he had lot of abilities but god did not give any job connected to his abilities why what's the reason god brought him to a point of realization when he was in his wilderness just think about what he would have thought a man who grew up in the palace now looking after his father in law sheep aranmanaiyile valandhu periyavanaanavan ippozhudhu maamnaarude aadugalai vanaandrathile meekkiraanna paathu what he would have thought about his own life avan thannude vaalkai kurithu enna nenaithirupa what he would have thought about his past avanude kadanda kaalathai kurithu nenaivu enna how he would have conceived or perceived his future and edirgalate kuritha or ennam avanukku eppadi undayirukku he would have almost come out of all of his dignity his pride is everything thanudaiya thanmanam thanudaiya madippu mariyada ellathiyum konjam konjama irangikkala when he was in his weakest point avan thanudaiya balavinathin nilayile god calls him and he says devan avane alaitha you have to do my work nee ennudaiya velai seiya i have a purpose and plan for you to fulfill na unakkaga oru thittamu nokkamu praise the name of the living god moses had many weaknesses moses ka anega balavinangal irundha hey read exodus 3 and 4 ange 3 4 ila vaasu paarunga he was a short tempered man that's why he killed he murdered avan vandu romba murka kobam mugindavan adanal konnutan murkobam ullavan or aaleye potu thalra alavukku ipo ivar yaarukitta poi pesano பார்வன் கிட்ட அங்க அடிமை கிட்ட குச்ச மாதிரி பார்வன் கிட்ட என்ன பண்ண முடியாது அந்த வீக்னஸோட பார்வன் கிட்ட போனா டே நீ மரியாதையா அனுப்பு இல்லாட்டா வாயில குத்துவேன் அப்படி இப்படின்னா இவரு தூக்கி என்ன பண்ணிடுவாங்க டஞ்சன்ல போட்டுருவாங்க ஆண்டவர் வந்து ஒரு டிப்ளமேட் ஆக்குறா இருப்பாருங்க ஒரு முற்கோபி ஆனவன ஆண்டவர் வந்து ஒரு டிப்ளமேட் அதாவது டிப்ளமேட்டுக்கு எப்படி சொல்லுவாங்க இந்த பேச்சுவார்த்தைலாம் நடத்தி ஒரு மாதிரி பர்சுவேசிவாக பேசுவாங்களே ராஜ்ய பிரதிநிதி இந்த பெரிய பேச்சுவார்த்தை நடத்துகிறவங்கலாம் இப்படி விரல் காட்டிக்கிட்டு இப்படி அப்படி குத்திடுவேன் கித்திருவேன்லாம் பேச மாட்டாங்க அது சுற்றி வளைச்சி என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க அந்த வேலைக்கு யாரை ஆண்டவர் கூப்பிட்றாரு ஒரு முற்கோபி 
He had lot of weaknesses in his life. Avrude vaalkaila anega balavinagal undu. He says, "Lord, I am slow of speech." Na undu thikku vaayulla. I have stuttering problem. Na manda na ullava. He had another weakness. He wants to be excused. Run away from the responsibility. Kudukkara poruplandu eppadiya velagi odi pon. Mudiyadu mudiyadu mudiyadu. Aanda re de unakku munna maari aal dhaan enakku enna pannom? Ayyo nam onnu illa ga enakku pesa varadhu. Ah enakku andha maari aal dhaan enna pannom? Huh? But today, I have done Bible college, so I am going to preach. No, no, no. We cannot preach genuinely and honestly. Yes, yes. 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 பிரசங்கம் பண்ண முடியாது will god acknowledge it that is the main question அங்க தேவன் அதை அங்கீகாரம் பண்ண மாட்டாரு praise the name of the living god we have great cloud of witnesses நமக்கு மேகம் போன்ற திரளான சாட்சிகள் apostle paul like moses all through the old and the new testament அந்த பழைய ஏற்பாட்டு புதிய ஏற்பாட்டு अनेक பரிசுத்தவான் even you take our lord jesus christ அவரா இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவே எடுத்து கொள்ளுங்க who is he He is God manifest in the flesh. He is Word made flesh. Praise the name of the living God. But what did He say? I can of mine own self do nothing. Praise the name of the living God. I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of Him that sent me. என்னுடைய <laughs> 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 What did Jesus say? Yes, I said that. He fought him with the word. Our warte kunda avnu udu poradi. Praise the name of the living God. Yenga warte agave vandavure. Na ishtathukku pesuradilla. Yenak avur enna solraro? Praise the name of the living God. He had all the power all the authority avarku sagala adhigaram sagala balamai Jesus said all power is given unto me sagala adhigaram balamai enakku unda irukirathu Praise the name of the living God but still he says i say only what the father wants me to say Apdiye solraaru apdi irundhu pida enna solla solradha dhaan na solraen I do only what he wants me to do enakku pida enna inna sey solraaro adha dhaan na seiven because Jesus in his humanity without divinity he realized he is nothing yesu christu maamsathile irundhalum avar and deivigam illamal avarale endha oru kaaryathiyum seiya illa yesu kulliyum oru deivigam nradhu onnu irundhathu adanal dhaan we say he is 100% man and he is 100% god avar 100% manushanagum 100% devanagum jesus without the 100% god in him that 100% man could do nothing yesu manushanai indha bhoomiyile vandha bodhu avar 100% deivigam illamal endha kaariyam that's why he lived his life as a son of god avar devunda kumaranai indha bhoomiyile avidhamai vaazhndha and he showed us the perfect example oru paripurna maadhiriye kaanvithu senda praise the name of the living god he was called as a lamb of god adu mathramilla avar devunde aattukutti endra alaikkapatta why he was was called as the lamp of god yeah. many reasons are there anega is because of his blood he has to be slain avar undu ratham sindapatta adikapatta but one of the things is ana adla oru kaaryam enna vendal lamb is the most helpless animal adu oru udavi etra oru mirugam adu udavi illada mirugam aattu kutti endrathu oru pedayana oru oru jeeva jandu ஆட்டுக்குட்டி மிரட்டி நீங்க என்ன என்ன பண்ணிடும் அது ஓட கூட தெரியாது அப்படியே ஸ்தம்பிச்சு என்ன பண்ணும் நிற்கும் நான் என்ன என்ன பண்ணும் திருப்பி கொலைக்கும் கல்ல பார்த்துட்டு பயந்து பத்து அடி தூரம் போயாவது என்ன பண்ணும் பார்க்கும் குதிரை மாடுல என்ன பண்ணும் ஒரே எத்து அதுக்கு எதனா பிடிக்காத ஒரு ஆபத்து பக்கத்தில் வந்துச்சுன்னா என்ன பண்ணும் ஒரே எத்து 
ஆடு குட்டி பண்ணுமாங்க ஹலோ இஸ் அ மோஸ்ட் ஹெல்ப்லெஸ் அனிமல் வீக்கஸ்ட் அனிமல் இட் ஆல் த டைம் ரிலை சம்படி ஹெல்ப் not only jesus came as the lamb of god yes devunde aattukuttiyaga vandathu mathramalla but he calls his people to be the sheep of his pasture thannudaiya janangalai avar mandhai naadugalaga if we are really the sheep of god's pasture devunde mandhile devunde aadugalai nam irpamana we will realize we are weakest nam dan belavinargal enbadai nam arivu we will realize that we are the most helpless that we need to rely on god all the time man malavinargal udavi seyya udavi attravargal alpa eppodum devane saandirkka koodiyavargal engadhu unarvo praise the name of the living god that's why jesus said i am the good shepherd i know my sheep praise the name of the living god my sheep hear my voice praise the name of the living god you know if you take a sheep for a thousand times in one route ore valila aayiram thadava neenga kootu ponaalo it cannot go by itself for thousand and one time aayirathu ore thadava thana thaniya andha valiya pothu it always needs the shepherd adukku eppodum meipana avarude udavi avasi it always needs the voice of the shepherd adhu eppodum andha meipanoda satham adukku avasi because it's it's created that way adhu srishtippe apdi dhaan perappe apdi to rely on the voice of the shepherd only when it hears the voice of the shepherd it is satisfied it is happy it is comforted it feels safety and protection praise the name of the living god god calls you and me to be his sheep why without him we are nothing we are totally helpless we cannot go nam engum pogum we don't know namakku theriyadu but with him anal avarod with the voice of the shepherd with the leading of the shepherd and the meepin satathin vali nadathu we have all the strength that he has given us avar kodutha ella balamum namakku undayirukku god's strength is revealed devunude balam nammile velippadum only where the weakness is identified in the knowledge yenda idathile balavinam adayalam kandu angikarikkapattu etrukollapadugirado andha idathile devunudaiya balam irangum velikkum in the battles of our christian life nammudaiya christava vaalkai no matter what our battles we face nam eppadi pettadana poraattathai sandithal always be aware eppodu namai vilippa irukkanum that without him avar illamal we can do nothing namal undu seiyakoodathu because his strength is revealed nammudaiya balam avaridathil irundhu namakku varum where there is weakness nammudaiya balavinangalai nam angikarikkumbodhu avarude balam namakkulle varum god bless you all devan thaamai ungalai aavari maasrudipparar